I was able to do some fine tuning of it and now I'm really happy with how it sounded. All right, I am about to go do something that I haven't done in a very long time. I'm going to go get a fake acrylic nail made at a nail salon. Uh, now, I, I've made a video that's now gotten quite a few views on YouTube on making gel nails um, for yourself at home, and there's tons of different nail making methods that are probably healthier for your nails than this. You know what? It's something I haven't done in such a long time. I wanted to try it anyways again and see what that was like. There's a couple of little things that I remember from when I used to get acrylic nails done when I first started playing guitar. And one of those was to let them know that you want them to be fairly thin, right? The average person that comes and gets all of their nails done uh, want them to be pretty thick so that they last a long time. Uh, but even a fairly thin acrylic nail is going to last us as guitar players a pretty long time, especially if you know, you're know you careful with your nails and you trim the length of them, this type of thing. Uh, so of course the other request is that I don't want any color or polish that doesn't really matter uh, because I'm going to be filing it all down anyways. Um, and of course it's just one nail. I'm not going to get all of my nails done. It's just going to be my thumbnail because this is the pesky nail for me. It has a really nasty ramp right at the end of it that goes downwards. I'll give you a close up here. It probably doesn't focus too well on my nail there, but yeah, it's this ramp that always catches the string. So I'll either always have to keep my nail really short or use a fake nail. And I haven't done this, like I said, in forever. So I'm going to go do this. I'm going to ask them if I can film a little bit of it. And uh, I'll come check back in with you and show you the process of how I'm going to touch up the nail and trim it down uh, and shape it so that's usable for classical guitar. And we'll see, it may sound terrible and I may end up taking it off and not posting this video. So if you're seeing this, it means I probably was able to get it to sound pretty good. So, all right, I'm going to go do that and let's go see how it turns out. All right, I'm back and I have to laugh because when I first walked in, they looked at me like I was joking. It's such an unusual request. Um, first of all, if they're not used to seeing a lot of guys come in there to get their nails um, done, and then also not usually just their thumbnail, right? So anyways, they look at you like you're crazy, but then I sort of explained it. You know, I just wanted to make this video because I haven't done it since I just started playing guitar and I didn't know anything about sound production then. So I wanted to see how it would work today if I just went in, got it done. So here it is, okay? Right now, it is obviously a super, super long nail that will not work with guitar, but I will go home and file it. By the way, after they laughed and thought I was super strange, they gave me a file, one that will work with this, because I was telling them, yeah, just leave it long. I will um, file it down. Definitely going to file some of the curvature out of this nail and definitely a lot of the length. And let's see if I can get this sounding good. All right, so pardon my thumb, which cuticles are torn up here, but this is exactly what it looks like coming back from the nail place. Obviously, it's way too long, and if you look at it this way, it is way too thick. And I'm filming this on my phone, so my apologies for the bad quality. My big camera was just way too unwieldy um, for this simple video. I'm going to now um, file this down. I'm going to file from underneath to get rid of this crazy arch that it has right here. And I'm also going to work at filing the length down. You'll see how that goes starting now. You can actually see me holding my finger up here on top of my nail. The reason why I do that is I don't want all the pressure just going up and pushing against my nail bed here. I don't know if it really matters, but I do this when I'm dealing with a super long nail. And what I'm mostly focusing on here is just flattening out the underside so it's not so crazily arched. And then maybe the other one half of my focus is going towards just reducing the length of this crazy long nail. You see, it's gonna, it's gonna take me a little while to get this length down.
All right, so if you look at it now, you can already see I've succeeded at getting some of that crazy curvature away and making it a little bit thinner, but it's still way too long for me at least. I'm going to keep on working at this. I'm getting close. I'm getting close to where I want to try it. Even though it's longer, I, uh, I never want to, especially with like a fake nail and comparing it to my real nail, um, I, I never want to guess about like how long, like what would be too long or what wouldn't be because when something, when there's a variable that's different, like maybe it's the curvature of the nail or the strength of the nail or uh, the thickness of the nail, all these different things might make you consider a different shape. But now I'm using my Xyquo micro mesh file. And this is the one that, you know, I use for polishing up my nails to actually play on, except not this black side. This black side would still typically be for filing length, but, but today it's actually just getting it one step closer to polished, but we're still very far away. All right, so I'm on the pink side here, which means I am getting very close to having a smooth nail. And I'm not going to go overboard on like polishing my nail for like, you know, performance ready nails here because I have a feeling I'm going to have to make a lot more adjustments before it's actually ready to go. Um, I'm just going to hit this pink side, like I said, make sure it's beveled and that I'm getting all of these edges knocked down and any sharp points gone. So I'm going to go wash my hands, but right now this is what I'm left with which is probably going to sound okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna have more work to do and have to take more off the sides, I really don't know. But I'm gonna go wash my hands and then try this out and see what this first little guess at making a good nail sounds like. All right, so I'm here with the fake nail that I just showed you. And uh, I have not touched it up anymore, but I'm gonna give it its first test. I think it's going to sound pretty good. Let's see. Oh yeah. little bit of catching on the fourth string but other than that I uh, I think I nailed it with the uh, filing but you know I am used to doing this with gel nail um, the real question is is how long will this last but so far I'm pleasantly surprised I will tell you that I'm a little bummed that I didn't file my real nails length down further before going in and getting this done because I can feel my real nail underneath and I can tell that's going to be a problem fairly quickly. This sounds pretty good. Yeah, so it's catching just a little bit. I am going to file vigorously for just a second here underneath my nail. Let's see, not totally polished, but let's check. You know, this sound, I could play a concert with it. So I think I'll file the length down and get it just where I like it here for a second, but for all intensive purposes, I think this is a success. So the sound is good. That's what matters, and the feel is good. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is just try to trim a little bit of the length down and see how that works. All right, I'm back in my normal spot with this nail. I'll give you a close-up of it in a second, but check out how it sounds. I was able to do some fine-tuning of it, and now I'm really happy with how it sounded. Even feeling, it's not catching anywhere. I'm able to roll chords. Here's the finished nail up close. So is this a long-term solution? Um, possibly, but likely not. If you have good nails and you don't have a crazy hook like my nails have, um, then this is probably not an option for you. And also, there's lots of other fake nail options for you that don't destroy your nail beds when you take them off. Um, so, you know, some of those are ping pong balls, some of them are using these KISS brand nails, 
guitar player nails. There's a million different solutions. Um, this is just one of them and one that I get questions about all the time and one that I was actually super curious about because I haven't done it in so many years. I would say it's a big success. I'm really happy with how it sounds and feels. It's very similar to the feeling and sound of a gel nail. Uh, and I'll leave that video that I was talking about earlier to where I explain and show my entire gel nail process in the description below here so you can check that out and all the supplies um, I used in that video. But this thing sounds pretty darn good. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was a, a bit interesting for you. And I'll see you in the next one.